Hello, everybody. We have great news. Cleo Smith was the missing Australian girl. She has been found alive and well. Police rescued the girl from a locked house in the town of Carnarvon. I'm sorry if I pronounced anything wrong. So 18 days after she disappeared from her family's camping tent, she has been found alive. Four-year-old Australian girl abducted from her family camping tent 18 days ago has been found alive and well. Police in Western Australia said on Wednesday that they found Cleo Smith alone in a locked house in the coastal town of Carnarvon, a short drive from where she disappeared. I am so happy and thankful that this baby was found alive and that this did not turn into a, a Tory Stafford case or a Cherish Periwinkle case. I, we have all been so worried. I've been sharing a lot of awareness on our TikTok and Twitter and stuff. And oh, I'm just so thankful they found her because there's no telling how else this could have ended. Here's the article. A 36-year-old local man with no connection to the family has also been taken into custody. The girl was reunited with her mother, Ellie Smith, and stepfather, Jake Glidian. Soon after her rescue, our family is whole again, the mother said on social media. Cole Blanche, police deputy commissioner, said Cleo is alive and well. One of the officers picked her up into his arms and asked her, what is your name? She said, my name is Cleo, Blanche added. And that was her parents on social media with her picture. Cleo disappeared with her sleeping bag on October the 16th, the second day of the family trip at Blowholes Campground, 75 kilometers or 45 miles north of Carnarvon, where the girl's family lived. Cleo and her younger sister had been in a compartment of the tent separate from their parents. Police suspected she had been abducted because a zipper on the tent flap had been raised to a height that she could not have reached. Good police work, guys. You know, a lot of police miss little things like that, and so glad they realized that. Her disappearance stoked concern across the nation, sparking frantic air, sea, and ground search involving 100 officers, while police use human intelligence, surveillance footage, and forensic analysis to find the girl. Scores of volunteers scattered nearby the bushland for clues. Y'all, let me tell you something. We've had a lot of missing person cases in North Carolina. And it is so very important to have volunteers to help with a search, missing, you know, search parties, missing person parties. It is so very important because the police most times don't have a lot of dogs um, or police officers who can get out their own foot and physically search for someone or a lot of dog handlers. Um, some towns don't have but one to two dogs. Like in our town or my hometown in North Carolina, they have like three. Now, when I was growing up, they had one. So it's very, very important for uh, each town to have volunteers to help out. And I know a lot of people don't want to give up their precious time, but let me tell you something. When we can possibly have a, a, an amazing result like this where we find the child alive and well, or as sad as it is when we are able to find a body of someone you know, to give the family closure, it's everything. I can't stress how important it is for each town to have volunteers and have help. But always remember, if you come up to a crime scene, do not touch anything. I'm sorry, my golden retriever is squeaking his squeaky ball right now. So if you hear it, I'm not going to take it away from him because he's in love with it. <laughs> so they have a video on Twitter and uh, it's by WA Police Force. The moment Cleo was rescued... Police Commissioner Chris Dawson said investigators had been determined they were not going to leave any stone unturned, even as the search dragged on. We had been following a lot of forensic leads, and it led us to a particular house, he told ABC Radio. We put everything we had at it. Y'all, and DNA usually takes so long. Forensics normally takes a very long time, but I'm so thankful they were able to get this done as quickly as they could. Dawson said... Body camera video of four police officers breaking into the house with a search warrant and finding the girl brought a tear to his eye. Oh my gosh, it would me too. Y'all, you, I just can't. You know, I have fostered children and I've worked with a lot of A, B, U, S, E, D and neglected children and scared children. And let me tell you, 
it will it will make you cry. It'll make you very emotional to see these children in the states that they are in. I imagine it did make him tear up to find a little girl that's been missing and missing her mommy and her daddies and, you know, very scared for herself. I can only imagine how, how emotional this police officer became. Um, I wonder if they showed the body camera footage of the police officers. Um, it's what it says here, breaking into the house with a search warrant, finding the girl brought a tear to his eye. Um, I want to find that video because joyous moments like that. <sighs> so happy for her and her family it's a very it's a really joyous occasion we don't always get these sort of outcomes and while we were very very concerned we didn't lose hope that's amazing police commissioner would not detail what the girl had gone through oh my gosh oh that's what scares me so much is this four-year-old little girl i hope i hope she was not assaulted or or worded oh man but you know most of these people kidnap these children for that purpose so we won't know until they tell us, but I just hope that she is mentally and emotionally and physically okay. She was as well as you can expect, Dawson said. This has been an ordeal. I won't go into any more details other than to say we are so thankful she's alive. It's unclear whether one million Australian dollars or $743,000 reward offered five days after her disappearance led her led police to her. Prime Minister Scott, Scott Morrison thanked police for finding Cleo and supporting her family. What wonderful, relieving news. Cleo Smith has been found and is home safe and sound, Morris tweeted. Morrison tweeted. I'm sorry, I can't read sometimes. My dyslexia is acting up. Our prayers answered, Morrison added. So, yes, Cleo Smith has been found alive and well. We are so happy. Um... We need to be sharing more awareness on other missing children and missing people. We have a lot of indigenous women and children and men who have been missing for years. And we need to bring attention to all cases. Um, I don't know why it won't let me use that. Let's go back. Sorry, the dogs are barking. Apparently they see a duck or they see something out there. So, <clears throat> look at some of the articles here. Desperate search for missing four-year-old Cleo Smith. The worst part, let's go back to one of the first. Some of the earlier articles about this. Do not sell my personal, these cookie things are always popping up on here. An open tent. And an empty bed. Desperate search for missing four-year-old Cleo Smith. Oh, she's such a beautiful little girl. Beautiful eyes. She's so cute. A search is under... And remember, she's been found. I'm just reading some older articles about the, the missing four-year-old. The worst part is there's nothing more we can do. Ellie Smith says after her little girl disappeared from a campsite on the WA coast, um, we feel hopeless. It was the warm, unremarkable Friday... When just around dusk, let me put this back up here. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Just around dusk, Ellie Smith and her partner, Jake Glidden, pitched the family tent at the remote campsite on Western Australia's rugged coral coast. Guys, can you imagine going on a little camping trip and waking up to your four-year-old child gone? You don't know if they've gotten out the tent and gotten lost or, you know, drug off by animals or somebody's abducted them. You don't know, and all you can think is the what ifs, especially for a four year old child. They chose the wild beach camp nestled on a small dune system at Point Quoba, Quoba sorry if I pronounced it wrong, about 10 hours drive north of Perth for a getaway with their baby, Isla, and Smith's daughter, four year old Cleo. The Blowholes campground site is an isolated one, 30 minutes off the Northwest Coast Highway. Coastal Highway with only one sealed road in and out for, for tourists, fishers, and a handful of shack dwellers who make their way here. Now, what was this grown man doing out here at the campsites? Was he scoping out families looking for children? What was he doing here? Um, it really makes you wonder. Now, this is the, her parents. This is Cleo's parents, her mother and her stepfather, and they had nothing to do with her disappearance. Remember, they caught the guy who had the little girl, and they've arrested him. 
They've got him in custody. But what was he doing out there around these campsites, around these families? And why did he take four-year-old Cleo? You know, he went into her tent. He unzipped it. Police said the zipper was lifted up higher than her, so she couldn't have reached it. The, fa the parents were asleep. So, you know, he intentionally took this four-year-old child for a reason. Now, they have not given details on what was done to her. But, you know, we all kind of know why these people take these children. It's either to sell them on the black market, to A-B-U-S-E-D them, S-A. There are many reasons why they do this, why they kidnap children. Um, I'm going to stop the video here, y'all. If you want to hear more, please, you know, let me know in the comments. Share your stories. You know, we'll share awareness. If you have a missing person in your family or your friends group that you want to share awareness about, please let me know. You can message me on TikTok, Twitter. You can comment on my YouTube videos. Please let me know. Thank you all.